Dear natural ladies, I'm trying to let my size grow for a new style. In the meantime, don't miss the message word about my hair. I promise you my edges are fine. Hello, hello, I am back with another video. And today I wanted to talk about talking too much. So that's gonna be the title of this particular video today, You Talk Too Much. Remember they had a rap song about uh, Run DMC? You talk too much and you never shut up. Huh. <laughs> okay, anyway, you talk too much. Now I am an introverted person. <laughs> so I'm really sharing this video with the reflections of myself, a lower version of myself. I've never really been a blabber mouth, but I believe that we're all reflections and in in really on the spiritual side of this here it's just energy it's just um <laughs> it's just energy of the throat chakra that's needing to be in in balance i say that they are my reflection because my throat chakra at one point needed to be in balance because i lacked self-expression so basically that's the reflection of me on the other side of me really you know, I wasn't speaking and they don't know how to stop speaking. <laughs> so it was still a reflection of me. Anyway, so I'm dedicating this to those type of women and this is for um, their dating experiences, maybe friendships and relationships where they, you know, share a little bit too much information about themselves and later on it can bite them in the tail you know so i get it as far as relationships are concerned i get it that you know you want to create like a meaningful relationship with a person and you might feel as though um in order to do that you gotta share you know those intimate parts of you you know you have to share you know the things that means you know the most to you you want to set up a foundation of a trusting relationship. So you, you feel like, okay, I'm going to just be real and, you know, and, <laughs> and transparent. And so that, that is a beautiful thing, but I don't believe that that is so beautiful when you just give that, 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 that important information to just everybody when you are open book and you are free for all because now you don't have a mystery about yourself and we're going to compare yourself the feminine energy to the energy of mother nature or the universe okay so the universe is infinite in intelligence right but the universe is mysterious and when you are on a journey you might go down the rabbit hole one day and realize how just how deep the universe is you might think you know it when you go down this rabbit hole but then you begin to understand each day that you know nothing because there is no end to the to this boundless universe there is no day no one lifetime where you're just gonna get it and get all of it no and then when you started this journey you realize that the universe didn't just come to you and just blabber all of its secrets in your ear on one day. No, you desired to know. And you, your desire for knowing more of the universe sent you down that rabbit hole. And so that, that, that beginning desire of it sent you spiraling and spiraling spiraling because you wanted to know more and it became more mysterious and and more and it was fun it was part of your journey but it was fun for you to watch how the universe unfolded and how many layers that it had it is no different from being a woman in the physical form in the universe you want to be mysterious you want to give like micro dosing of yourself just a little bit of yourself so that the male can desire you, can want to go down your rabbit hole and experience how deep it truly is, how many layers of you there are, you know, physically, mentally, emotionally. 
So that's the, that's like the spiritual side of it. There's also a reason why we shouldn't talk so much as far as new people in our lives, you know, um, with, with relationships or concern or dating is concerned is another side of it. And that has to be tied into, uh, human nature and psychology. <laughs> so the spiritual side is just that, you know, the universe is mysterious, but as far as, um, human nature and psychology is concerned, people fall in love with the idea of you. And the idea of you comes or stems from their mental, of their thought, of their desire to want to learn or know more about you. If you give them just a little bit with each dose, <laughs> they're going to want to come back to explore a little bit more. That's just how human nature is. That's just how psychology works on people. And so you you have them in a position where they, with their mind, are going to begin to think, desire, or imagine. And this is a tool that you want them to use on themselves in regards to you. <laughs> you know how I talk about um, mental seduction or mentally stimulating a man? This is, this is how <laughs> you get in somebody's head. This is how you mentally stimulate because the head, the, the nothingness that everybody has about you when they first meet you, they have nothingness. So pretty much what that means is they have a blank canvas and they can create anything that they want on that canvas about you. <laughs> and so in creating what they want about you, they can create you to be someone that they're longing for. They can create you to be feminine, mysterious, divine, you know? But if you give too much, they could be able to go to that canvas and just draw where you live, how many children you have, how much money you make. And now this is not like a rabbit hole that they want to explore. They were able to draw you on the canvas and <laughs> instantly. So you, you really, as far as psychology is concerned, you want to leave them with a little bit of mystery, a little bit of puzzle to figure you out. You want to be able to be drawn on the, on the first day, on the first week or the first month. So you have to hold back. In order to do that, you have to stop talking. And for those that have a hole in their bottom lip, I am talking to you. It is time to shh. Mysterious and confident women know when to shh. When to allow for that, that you know, that pause between questions on a date and and not feeling the urge to find a question to ask to feel that 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 silence with words no let that silence be there and let him figure out what we're going to talk about next you just be quiet you just look around you don't have to find something to say. All you have to do is be. <laughs> so I want to share with you some examples of some things that maybe it's really, really simple, but some things and some ways you could hold back. And, and I want to share why I feel as though it works against, um, the, you know, to in not against, but why there's reasoning as far as psychology is concerned why you do it and how human nature behaves or why he or she is even asking you these questions let's get down to the nitty-gritty it's simple questions and you probably answered these simple questions and thought nothing of it before 
But people judge you based upon everything in this physical reality. Everything is about perception. Y'all judge me on my videos. And don't say you didn't. Yeah, you have. But it's okay because I understand how human nature is. Okay, I'm trying to help people. And they judging me. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, first question, your name. And so, when you meet somebody and they ask you your name, you know, that that's... That's something because we live in the social media world, I would say only give a nickname or just your first name when you first meet somebody. I know me, for example, I would never give my first and last name to somebody that's, you know, just meeting me and wanting to pursue me. Why? Because I don't want them to Google me. Why? Because I feel like it'll be so cool down the line if they stumble upon the fact that I am an author, stumble upon the fact that I have a channel, you know, stumble upon the fact about my products and my website, them stumbling on it is more exciting than me saying, well, you know, I do this, this, you know, this YouTube channel and then, you know, I sell da 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 and, and da da da. It's almost like that's a sales pitch versus them stumbling upon me. I'm like, wow, that's really cool. Why you didn't tell me? You never asked. <laughs> so first names only or nickname. And so now the next question may be, where are you from? And I would say just general the area or the other side of town. Or if you're in a certain state, oh, not too far from the capital of that particular state. You know, they don't need to know the name of the subdivision because if they are entertaining more than one person, look at the, look at the big picture here. If they're entertaining one, more than one person. They got a person that live in the project versus you maybe living in a gated community. They're judging. They're judging. What do what they need to know where you live for? You just met them. They don't need to come over. You don't even know if they a serial killer. Just to give up maybe an area if that. Okay. So now, how old are you? Now, this is something I would ask a man first. I would ask a man first to kind of figure out the range of age that he is. Because men, they'll tell you how much, I mean, how old they are. Women, most of the time, they don't. Which is a beautiful thing. So I would ask him how old he is and then maybe after I ask him and he tell me his age, he might ask me, depending upon a man, and how old are you? The answer should be, oh, I'm younger than you or oh, you're older than me. That's it. No number. Why? Not because you're ashamed of your age. No, because of the comparison thing, because of the perception thing. And the man is going to desire the youthful woman. So if he has two or three or have a little rotation thing, all he need to know is that you're younger than him. Because if, if you say you're 25 even, he might have a little 20 year old in the in rotation. But if you look like you might have passed for the 20 year old, then he might think he has two 20 years old because he don't really know your age. I just don't think that it is important. I don't think it's an important important at all, especially if you take care of yourself. All he needs to know is that you're younger than him. So the next question, where do you work at? Now let's think about this answer to this particular question as if it was you. It's as if it was you asking the man where he work at, so you could un better understand this. You're asking him why, where he works at. Why are you asking the man where he work at? You are asking that man where he work at simply because you want to see the range of income he makes. Point blank period. P people judging. You do it. You judge people. <laughs> because it's not like you ask him because you want to go down there and um, help him do his job. No. You won't go to work with him. It's not bring a friend to work there. So women do this too is what I, why I flipped it like that. But say, for instance, the man is asking you where you work, though. 
keep in mind a provider man or a, a man of means or a man that's financially stable he does not care where you work in <laughs> he doesn't it depends upon our type of man you are entertaining but that type of man he don't care he may just be asking to find out if you have a job or if you're not catching the wall and climbing you know poles because he probably you know can't bring you around the colleagues just like sharing that kind of stuff <laughs> but that don't mean he, he he he's not going to entertain you though but as far as this particular answer is concerned for those independent women for those boss women for those supervisors ceos and doctors and nurses I wouldn't say that I wouldn't say that and a lot of women think that that's dumbing them, themselves down no 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 that's letting a man be a man because let's face it corporate America has a lot of masculine energy and a lot of that masculine energy walks around with dresses and skirts on because you have to have you have to exude masculine energy to an extent in corporate America because you're competing and climbing the corporate ladder so that's competition that's masculine energy so back to the type of man you're dealing with, I wouldn't tell them nurse, doctor, manager. I, I wouldn't say that. I'd say clerk. I'd say assistant. I'd say a student. I'd say, why are you a hiring manager? Oh, because if you are, oh, I really do need a another job I hope it pays more than the one that I'm on right now or I'd say oh come on I have a job don't do me like that I mean you know it doesn't pay much but I do work you know something like that but if you want to be large and in charge and go ahead and say you're a manager, you're a nurse, you, you, you know, you got your own and stuff because you work hard forward, then they have some men out there that will make you their prey. I guarantee. And they will try to take from you, from your abundance. So, I mean, it goes, this applies to the, the type of man that you attract this applies to your energy you know what the universe gonna bring forth forth and deliver to you so it's up to you but i wouldn't share that information if if it was like a um, big boss type job because all it says is i have masculine energy and those type of women they they battle when they leave corporate America, they battle turning that masculine energy off. Some of them don't know how. And then he might judge and think that you'll be just like that. Anyway, the last question that I think is so, so, so important. And I think we, we share this because we're mothers and we're nurturers and we love our children. The next question is how many children you have and it goes back to that fact that he judging you he judging you now let's break this here question down a little bit further you know so so, so if, if you have four and then he's entertaining someone who has none there's a comparison there there's judgment there but let's break that question down a little bit further and see what that question is really saying that question is saying how many human beings entered into the universe via your vagina? How many, how many human beings you brought here? How many? How many came out your vagina? That's pretty much what it's saying. How many? <laughs> and so you had four that came out of your vagina. Meanwhile, there is another woman who he's entertaining who had no human beings that came out of her vagina. My question to you is, 
Which vagina, if you were a man, which vagina do you think could seem more appealing, more interesting? The one that seems like there's a cherry that needs to be popped. <laughs> Would it be the one that four humans came out of? Or the one that no human came out of? You see what I'm saying here? Yeah? So no, no. And, 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 and you know, some people, you know, especially the religious, oh, you're lying. You're not being honest. Well, I guess so. <laughs> However, this takes nothing from the love that you have from your children. You just met this man three minutes ago. Why does he need to know the truth already? You don't know him yet. You see? And another thing is, it is very unlikely that this man is going to be your children's stepdaddy anyway. It's very unlikely. You know, you, 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 you go through so many men until you really find really one that, you know, you really vibe with. And that doesn't mean that that's going to be the, the, you know, your next husband. So my thing is have fun, enjoy the now on the date or in the conversation, laugh, be more serious, talk about what's going on in the restaurant or at the meet and greet and ask him questions to the point where after the date or after the experience with you, they are at home or riding in a car and saying, dang, I was talking all night long. I don't even know much about her because you are the mysterious one. Because what you don't want to do is sit there and share everything there is about you so that that man or that person can become it. So that man, so women do, do this a lot. They share everything, every hurt, you know, every experience, everything they do throughout the day, you know, where they keep the secret key to the house or, <laughs> you know, the struggles that they have with the health and what the last man did to them and and would she not going to deal with no more and the easiest way to get to the JJ and they share everything and not creating a mystery at all. That's not mysterious if you shared everything. And so now all the guy has to do because men are predators. Yeah, they can be. Now all he has to do is become that which you told him he needed to be in order to get to what it is that he wants really fast. And he might just want really fast to get you on your back. But you done told him the easiest route to get there because all you, you said there, you said where you live, you said there, you said, you know, what it takes to to melt your little heart. You said all that I need is a little church going man who's going to hold my hand and watch the sunset with me. And so he's ready. Hey, hey, when we going to go to church? Let's go to the evening service so after the service is over with, I could hold your hand. <laughs> and we could go watch the sunset. And you're like, oh my, Jesus must have sent you. Mm-hmm, Jesus showed it. So, with that being said, that's my reasoning behind it. That's human nature. It, it, and you could, you could fight against human nature if you want to, you know. You could fight against the fact that a man is a predator if you want to. You could fight against the fact that he, he liked that lion. And if you want to keep on talking too much and telling, telling him everything about you, you're just asking to be devoured. <laughs> Go on and be devoured. Now, that's my take on it. You believe whatever you want to believe. You keep on flapping that mouth if that's what you want to do in your physical reality. You keep on uh, talking too much if that's what you want to do. Because guess what? I understand human nature. I understand it so much that I already know that words don't teach. 
it's only life experiences that's going to teach you. I was just sharing my opinion here. So you're going to have to go and keep on talking. Keep on kicking yourself up in the butt. Until you get tired. And then when you get tired, you're going to remember this particular video. Oh, I talk too much. And then it'll be up to you to create a paradigm shift or change your ways. Because it's at that pivotal moment that you realize that nothing is going to change in my physical reality until I change something about me. And that's when you better understand this video. So go on and keep on talking. Go on and keep on telling it on the mountain. Just go on and do it. Because a lot of y'all not going to listen to me anyway. But it was fun doing the video though. Be blessed from my heart to yours. Goodbye.